Hello. Nice to meet you. I am Charlotte, Karen Snow's virtual assistant. I'm looking forward to working with you. Welcome, welcome. We are absolutely thrilled that you found your way to our little corner of the real estate world. Whether you're searching for your dream home in Charlotte, North Carolina and just over the border in South or looking to sell your current property, Karen and her team are here to help make your journey as smooth and stress-free as possible. Now we know that the thought of buying or selling a home can be overwhelming, but fear not. Our team specializes in providing boutique, one-on-one -on -one service with brokers who speak Spanish and Portuguese that is as unique as you are. Plus, we use the latest and greatest technology to streamline the process and free up more time for us to spend with you, our valued client. Before we dive in, we want to make sure that we're all on the same page. We take compliance very seriously around here, and we want to ensure that we're doing everything by the book. So if you could spare a few minutes to let us show you how we'll represent you as a buyer or seller, we'd be ever so grateful. Oh, and if you're thinking about selling your home, be sure to check out our on-demand seller seminar and Karen's book, The Elite Seller's Guide. It's chock full of tips and tricks to help you get top dollar for your property. Again, welcome to your real estate journey with Karen and her team. We promise to make it as exciting and fun as possible. Yes, we said fun. We're a little quirky like that. Let's get started. Now that you might be considering buying or selling some real estate, we want you to understand the different ways you can work with an agent when buying real estate and the services agents can provide. You have several choices about how a real estate firm and its agents will work with you. For example, you may want them to represent only you as a buyer agent, or you may be willing to allow them to represent both you and the seller at the same time as a dual agent. You might even prefer to be unrepresented and work directly with the seller's agent. Some brokers will offer you a choice of these services and others may not. Whether you choose to work with a buyer agent, dual agent, or seller's agent, that agent must treat you honestly and fairly and tell you about any material facts that the agent knows about or should know about that could influence your decisions in the transaction. The Real Estate Commission has developed a disclosure form called Working with Real Estate Agents to help you understand the different kinds of agency relationships. The form emphasizes the importance of not sharing confidential information with an agent until you know whether the agent represents you. The Real Estate Commission requires every real estate agent to review this disclosure form with you and to ask you to sign it before receiving any confidential information from you or assisting with your purchase. The working with real estate agents disclosure is not a contract. Signing it does not obligate you to work with the agent who presented it to you. Your signature is just an acknowledgement that you have received the disclosure form. The commission also publishes a brochure entitled Questions and Answers on Working with Real Estate Agents. This brochure explains what a real estate agent's duties are, what services your agent will provide for you, and how the agent will be paid. You can download the brochure for free from the commission's website at ncrec.gov. If you choose to have a buyer agent or firm represent you, they owe you certain duties. First, the firm and its agents must promote your best interests ahead of all others. They must be loyal to you, follow your lawful instructions, and give you information about the property that could influence your purchasing decisions. Your agent must also use reasonable skill, care, and diligence throughout the process and account for all money they receive on your behalf. Once you've agreed that a firm or agent will represent you, they may not give certain confidential information about you to the seller or seller's agents without your permission. Confidential information includes your motivation for buying or your negotiating strategy. For this reason, don't tell the agent anything that you don't want a seller to know until you enter into an agreement to hire the agent. A buyer agent will help you find a suitable property, gather more information about properties you're interested in, a prepare and submit an offer, order inspections, and prepare for closing. A buyer agent may be paid in different ways. Often, the agent will seek payment from the seller or listing firm first, but if the seller and listing firm refuse, then you may have to pay the buyer agent yourself. You and the agent will address the firm's fees in the written buyer agency agreement. Be sure to read and understand any agency agreement before you sign it and make sure it includes any promises that the agent has made to you. You'll also be asked to indicate in the buyer agency agreement if the firm you're hiring will be allowed to participate in dual agency. Dual agency is when the firm that represents you also represents the seller at the same time. 
This is most likely to happen if your buyer and agent's firm has a listing agreement with the owner of a property that you want to purchase. In a dual agency situation, the firm and its agents owe equal obligations to you and the seller rather than only representing your interests. Because of this, your agent may lose their ability to advise, counsel, or advocate for either party. In order to reduce the conflict of interest inherent in dual agency, some real estate firms may offer a type of dual agency called designated dual agency. This is where one agent within the firm is designated to represent only you and another agent within the firm is designated to represent only the seller. Neither agent should have confidential information about the other party at the time of designation. This type of dual agency allows you and the seller to be more fully represented because it allows your agent to advise you and to negotiate and advocate for you. This form is what is used if you are selling your home or other real estate. This is the same as the buyer's representation, but you are the seller and we are representing you. When selling real estate, you may have several choices as to how you want a real estate firm and its agents to work with you. For example, you may want them to represent only you as a seller's agent or a listing agent, or you may be willing for them to represent both you and the buyer at the same time as a dual agent. You may also choose to sell the property yourself and to work with agents representing the buyers. Whether you choose to work with a listing agent, a dual agent, or a buyer's agent, that agent must treat you the same way as described as a buyer's agent. When you choose the right listing agent for you, you will negotiate the terms of the listing agreement. The listing agreement is what authorizes the real estate firm and its agents to represent you in your dealings with buyers. Be sure that you read and understand the entire listing agreement before you sign. If there's anything that your agent has promised you, make sure that it's in your listing agreement, as this is your only contract with the agency once you've signed the listing agreement. Your listing firm and its agents may not give certain confidential information about you to the buyers or buyers' agents without your permission, like your motivation for selling or your negotiating strategy. For this reason, avoid telling the agent anything that you would not want the buyer to know until you enter into a listing agreement. Some of the items we will have to negotiate in the listing agreement are the listing price, the firm's compensation, and the duration of your listing agreement. Also, the listing agreement will explain the firm's duties to you and your duties to the firm in the sale of your property. So, what are the duties of a seller's agent? First, the firm and its agents must promote your best interests ahead of all others. They must be loyal to you, follow your lawful instructions, and provide you with material facts and information that could influence your decisions. Your agent must account for all monies handled on your behalf, deliver to you all written offers, and communicate all terms of oral offers to you. Your listing firm and its agents will help you price your property, advertise and market your property, negotiate the best possible price and terms for the sale of your property and review all offers with you. Additionally, they will provide you with all of the required disclosure forms that you will need to complete. You should know that agents must also use reasonable skill, care and diligence to discover all the facts about your property and that agents are required by law to disclose all known material facts to prospective buyers, even if you don't want them to and even if you choose not to report those facts on any disclosure statements yourself. You will also be asked on the listing agreement if the firm you are hiring will be allowed to participate in dual agency. Dual agency is when the firm that represents you represents the buyer at the same time. This is most likely to happen if someone in your agent's firm is representing a buyer who wants to purchase your property. Understand that in a dual agency situation, the firm and the agents owe identical obligations to you and to the buyer rather than being obligated to only represent your interests. Because of this, your agent may lose his or her ability to advise counsel or advocate for either you or the buyer. Some firms may offer a type of dual agency called designated dual agency. This is where one agent within the firm is appointed to represent only you and another agent within the firm is appointed to represent only the buyer. Neither agent should have confidential information about the other party at the time of designation. This type of dual agency restores your agent's ability to advise, negotiate, and advocate for you. For more information about the duties and responsibilities of real estate agents, visit the North Carolina Real Estate Commission's website ncrec.gov. You can find many questions and answers. If you have any questions about the paperwork or anything else related to the home buying or selling process, please don't hesitate to ask.
We're here to help you at any step of the way, and we want to make sure that you feel comfortable and confident throughout the process. Look forward to getting to know you and transitioning into your lifestyle.